What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today we're going to jump into some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. This time we're going to do Rift Instability with Tundra. This is the weekly challenge for January 31st, 2017. Let's jump right in. Alright, here we go. So, pathing on this map is super tight for Tundra. And uh, because of that, what we're going to be trying to do is uh, I suppose we must stop at we're going to have to let two of the unstable rifts open. And we're going to have to use those to, you, to uh, grab the avalanche potential um, weaver upgrade so that Tundra can use avalanche to travel farther. And now... It's weird that uh, Avalanche is supposed to have a, a pretty short time limit uh, when you initially start out, but in my experience, it seems to have been hit or miss sometimes. Wonder, have I just been doing it wrong? Or? Okay, no, no, I've just been doing it wrong. All right, so now we didn't, that we know I'm a, a, apparently just really incompetent with Tundra, that's probably why I need to play with him a bit more. He's one of the last characters that I have to unlock here. But all right, four ballistas at the top. That's how you get your start. You'll need to sell them as soon as this first round is over. The four ballistas well will pretty much unstable take out each of those unstable rifts in two shots. It takes about eight shots for the ballista from a ballista to kill it because the ceiling ballistas are all level one. And Tundra will need to summon a lightning ring before trying to melee any of the unstable rifts here because without it, his damage just is not high enough. Alright, because of Tundra's low damage, you're going to need to make absolute perfect use of his avalanche skill to move around. Alright. Steel and magic are a poor substitute for claw and tooth. Now this guy over here we're actually gonna let open up. But as it's opening, we're going to summon an ballista here. The ballista here. That will allow the next wave to be taken care of decidedly easier. Alright, then after you start wailing on these guys a bit, summon your lightning ring. That'll help to make sure that the lightning procs deal the most damage. And then as they start to bump up and possibly you know, bleed out of the maximum aggro you can hold, then you'll just want to... Wait, there we go. We just want to pop the lightning ring again. Alright, we're just going to head back over here so we can heal up. Alright, so those few shots and then that lightning ring should do most of what we needed to well for done. that unstable first rift unstable rift to just die. The rift. This one is super important because it's kobolds. And the one back here, if it happens to not get destroyed for whatever reason, it's not that big a deal. Well okay, so let's go ahead and... Come on. There we go. Put two over there. That will help us out on the final wave. And we're gonna heal up a little bit, head through here. We're gonna need to make sure that we destroy this one. The one in the upper left hand corner is going to be destroyed by the ballistas that we set up earlier. And we need to take out this guy. Destroy the unstable 
once we get this down, we're going to also want to take out this one. Next, head out here and uh, just start mowing down these orcs. Try not to avalanche through them because uh, there's a good chance that if you do, you could wind up uh, allowing some of them through, which is a bad idea. Okay. Now, all of that said and done. An unstable rift is opening. It must be destroyed. We absolutely need this guy destroyed. Once it's out of here, go ahead and snowball through the portal. And over here. Once this one's down, you can head back up to the top and deal with what will definitely be the last portal that matters. Do what you can to slow him down. Use your lightning ring. Alright, and that should be it. So that one's not too crazy. Uh, the clear is not nearly as fast as what you can get with Black Paw, but you know, Tundra, again, Ice characters just lack that damage. And I'm not sure whether or not it's 100% designed to be that way. I feel like the uh, very temporary damage bonus during the, froze, the period where enemies are frozen just really doesn't make up for it, but Tundra has usefulness in other areas that uh, really don't get to shine in this particular weekly challenge. Either way, that's how you would clear it with him. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments below. Uh, as far as the uh, avalanche thing, uh, make sure that when you use the skill, you tap left shift and do not hold it. If you hold left shift, it may attempt to uh, cancel it early and that will lower the amount of time that you get to use Avalanche. So other than that, works pretty well. Um, and I guess that's it. Thanks for watching as always. I sincerely appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one, folks.